day we drive cars with dashboards. And ever since we were 16 years old and we learned how to drive, we were taught that dashboards hold valuable information. You're not supposed to drive by the dashboard, but every now and again you ought to glance down and just see, am I driving too fast? Am I driving too slow? Is my engine turning too fast? Is my engine turning too slow? Do I even have enough gas to get where I'm going? Why is it that these technologies are intuitive to us on cars, but not on pumps? Did you know that your pump can spin too fast? That your pump can spin too slow? Do you even know where those points are on your pump? Don't you think you ought to have that same level of technology on your pumps that every single one of us has on our cars? What if that same tool could tell you when the pump was worn out, when it had lived its useful life, and it was costing you more in wasted energy than if you simply repaired or replaced it? And what if the data that could be gathered from that same tool could be used to design better pumps? Who is it that told us that every pump in a station is supposed to be the same size? Is that true? Does that even make any sense? Every day our pump stations experience numerous different flows throughout the day and we think that one pump ought to be able to do it all? What if that same system could be used to effectively and efficiently design pumps that could cover the entire range of situations that you're going to experience? Would you be interested in a solution like that? Then let us show you how the Specific Energy Dynamic Pump Optimizer can help operators operate better, managers manage better, and engineers engineer better pumping systems. If you're interested in seeing more, click the link in our description and we'd be happy to prepare a budgetary proposal for your system.